and welcome to Mobility Mastery Monday. I am Alicia and this is your weekly source for the best tips and tools for pain relief and feeling unstoppable. And today we're going to talk about releasing the front of the neck and this can help things like neck pain, TMJ, migraines if they're tension related and everything of that sort. So I personally have TMJ stuff, I tend to hold my jaw kind of tight. I have my wisdom teeth in actually, which probably contributes and my teeth are crooked. <laughs> um, so this is something that I um, aspire to do more often. If I did it more often, I am sure that my jaw would feel a lot better and so would yours. So this is something I encourage you to do maybe daily um, for a week and see if you don't feel significant relief if you have something like TMJ. And today we're going to do two techniques. Um, they're a little bit weird, so you're going to have to be willing to get a little funky with me <laughs> to try this one out, um, but we're going to target everything here and then directly going into the neck for the SEMs. So for both of these techniques, you want to make sure that you don't have any lotion on, on your hands or your neck. So if you're somebody that puts lotion on daily, you need to make sure that to do this before. Um, or just wash everything really good and the reason is you need to be able to kind of stick or have some grip um, from your fingers to your neck. Um, so having said that, I'm going to show you the first one. So for this first one, we're going to go into this part of the neck and drag it down and pin it to the clavicle here and then stretch it with head movement. Now you want to make sure not to poke into your throat. That's not going to feel very good. Um, so you're just using the flats of your fingers here to kind of uh, pick up some of that neck tissue and pull it down, like right there, I, I'm actually feeling it in my jaw, to that clavicle. And then you're gonna use head movement to stretch it out. It's a little hard for me to talk while I do this one, <laughs> but just going back and forth and kind of like up with your jaw and then over away from where you're pinning it. I don't know if you can see that line of tension there but I can sure feel it and then I might so you might do that for like 15 to 20 seconds and then try grabbing another spot maybe a little bit to the side pinning it Ooh, that's a good one on the jaw so my jaw pops on the right and what's really interesting to me is um, on this one I can actually if I pin this right I can open my jaw with no pop <laughs> So that's actually like, I don't know entirely what that means, but it's really interesting to me. When I open it regularly, it pops every single time. So I don't know if you can, if this stuff turned red, it probably did. Um, if you're doing it right, it's going to turn red. And that's because we're getting actually like a fascial drag and getting blood to the area, which is a really good sign. So you want it to turn a little bit red. Um, so once you've done one side, go to the other, same thing move it around and I would spend maybe, I don't know, a minute and a half on each side once you kind of have it down. And it's gonna take a little bit of practice probably to get this one right. Once you have it down, it's easy to do for a minute here and there throughout your day. Now we're gonna move on to the second one, which is a little bit harder to master. Um, and that is grabbing these SCMs, these big neck muscles right here. And, and the main one is gonna kind of be our target, but it starts up here by the ear and goes all the way down to that clavicle. And how you do that is you're going to use um, your forefinger and thumb, kind of tilt your head to the side that you're going to grab. That'll put some slack in it. And it's right here. I know what I'm looking for, so it's probably going to look easy. It um, will pop out of your fingers if you don't know how to grab it just right. So if that happens, make sure to let go quickly. It's not going to feel super great, but it's not bad either. But again, make sure you're not poking into your neck. That is not going to feel good. So you're just gonna grab these and then tilt your head and move it around. And I can kind of feel when it wants to pop out. And if it does, I'll just let it go and then re-grab it. And you wanna get a couple spots up high and a couple down, so I don't know, maybe do three spots. Um, and I'd stay on each one for a good 20 seconds or so once you have it down. <laughs> And again, that should turn red when you're doing it right. And then do the other side, of course, too. Um, but those are two really good techniques you can do on your own to help with jaw pain and neck pain. If you have some serious neck issues or a serious TMJ issue, I do recommend combining these two techniques with um, my techniques for the scaling and trap release. 
as well as possibly the chest and front deltoid release because all of these things play a big part in that tension on the jaw. For the full blog post accompanying this, you can click the link below the video. And if you liked it, like it and share it. And I will see you next time.